Check out my brand new sound design course along with all of my samples and presets by using the links below. We got some momentum, let's go. All right, so I wasn't planning on doing a video for this song when I made it from scratch. I sent it to a couple of people and they were like, ah, it's not your best, but for some reason I couldn't get that lead the structure of the lead so it goes down and down and down, down, down it gives me a little bit of like a progressive house type of song ish something like that it's kind of a weird song if we're gonna be honest because it's like it has stabs but it also has like a melodic type of lead to it but let's get started so i have this loop i might not keep it it's a little weird because the bass line's going with the melody like the bass line is the melody i guess we could just write something super simple Not really feeling anything from that, unfortunately. Let's keep moving. Perfect. I'm gonna keep all these sounds. I'm gonna keep all these. And I have like a ton of basses I just make. It's like a nice stab on the one. And the bass preset I'll use is this one called Boss, which is not released, but you guys can actually grab this in the Tiesto New Year's Eve remix. I use this in a different way. I love how that sounds. Okay, we gotta get something going here. We're going bass house. You guys hear that? We're going bass house. Let's do the logical thing and have some clap. I'll probably change that bass out though. It's a nice bass. Maybe we could have it in at certain times, but I just want like a clean sub bass. Clean sub bass and just like so. Getting a lot of ideas just off this first hit for a drop. I like these. Before we move any further, let's pitch it a little bit. Okay, maybe we'll do the second half. So we'll do second half. We'll put it up higher. Okay, this is my final attempt at this. This lead could be good for a melodic song, but I'm just not really feeling like chord progression melodic right now. I'm just feeling bass line maybe. I'm not really too sure. So this is what I got. Okay, we're gonna go with that. Get so we gotta get something going here because I feel potential in the whole lead and... That sounds a little better. We can maybe put some more distortion on that. We can maybe mess with some of these basses. I was just... What if we filtered it? This is such a weird song. There's no structure in this video, I'm sorry. Wait, what if we took that MIDI from before that I liked? I have no idea what it sounds like though. This right here sounded good. Okay, I'm gonna make a couple of versions of this. We got some momentum, let's go! Okay, that's the idea. It needs a lot of work. I'll probably change out some of the stuff, but we'll be back. <laughs> that kind of worked out a little bit, didn't it? All right, after a lot of deciding of whether or not I should make a video about this, 
I'm gonna keep it out there because I couldn't get this lead out of my head. I'll briefly go over all the changes here. I sent it to a couple people and they were like, ah, I don't know. But for me personally, I like this lead, not particularly the sound, but just the way that it, it has this AB part. From where I left off, everything's pretty much in a similar spot. I added a lot more, you know how I do like little effects here and there. I'll take samples from over here, drag them in, make them work as I always say, but the lead's just that vital patch and with absolutely no effects, it sounds like this. Which is a cool sound in itself. The effect is coming from Bigifier, which I, if I turn it off, then Bigifier in the Bigifier mode, all that stuff and it gives it a really short room reverb and i think it compresses it a lot too i wanted a bass that was more of like a like a running bass line so i had the sub bass which this was pretty much just a sine wave and then i took that preset from before that boss preset i made it more sustained i put a shaper box gate on at 1 16th and this is just giving it the gate effect pretty much So without it, it's just sustained, which I don't think it really fits the mix. Actually, maybe not. I actually think it might sound better without it. Go ahead. As we go, more rides, more drop claps. So I was torn over what to do before the drop I, because I couldn't really make anything that was matching the lead, the whole vibe of the drop, but I eventually just took a vocal from Splice. It really doesn't sound that great. It's a nice little vibe without the vocal, actually. It works without the vocal, I think. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys got something from this. Hope it inspires you. And I'll talk to you guys later. And here's the full playthrough. Why, why, why do you do this to me? I try to try to act like I don't care. You never let me close, but I'm not your call. Why do you do this to me? Why do you do this? Why do you do this, 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 this? You never let me close, I'm not your so call Why do you do this to me? Why do you do this? Check out my brand new sound design course along with all of my samples and presets by using the links below.